Healthcare workers are protesting a plan to allow medical tourism starting this Saturday. At a press conference called by KMT lawmaker Jiang Wanan, two medical groups said the policy was created without consulting frontline workers on their capacity for handling patients. Starting August 1st, foreign nationals will be allowed to enter Taiwan for certain medical purposes. Some worry that will elevate Taiwan's risk for COVID infections. I think our medical resources are limited. Opening them up to foreigners will increase the burden on our medical system. I don't know if the national health insurance system would be able to handle it. After all, the pandemic hasn't completely died down. I think the policy should be put on hold for a while. In the future, before these kinds of policies are announced, would it be possible for them to first communicate with frontline medical workers and maybe hold an internal meeting with experts? That way, they'd be able to see the policy's impact on the public and medical professionals. Staff members at these institutions already have a lot of work to do. Nurses are extremely busy. Now they could have to take on these cases of foreigners seeking medical care. It just shows that when formulating these policies, they did not fully consider the opinions of medical workers. Opposition voices are rising from the public as well as from medical workers. Recently, a Thai national who resided in Taiwan was diagnosed with COVID-19 after returning to Thailand. The case could herald tighter public health measures for Taiwan. KMT lawmaker Jiang spoke against opening Taiwan for medical tourism, saying it was a sensitive time. If there is an oversight at the border that creates an opening for the virus, whose responsibility would that be? Now, the government is enacting this policy that lets foreigners in. Who are the foreigners in question? What medical assistance do they need? Which types of medical care are covered? The government must give a clear explanation of the details to the people. KMT lawmakers say the government owes a clearer explanation of the policy and how it will be implemented. Internet users have also voiced opposition to the reopening, saying the Thai administration was creating a backdoor for Chinese nationals to take advantage of Taiwan's medical resources.